Hello party guests, it is Rachel here and this recipe is 100% going to be a replay um, because I wanted to make a recipe out of the Star Wars Galactic Baking Cookbook that one of you will get to take home. I mean, what I am making is the Bantha Blue Butter Sandwich Cookies. Um, and if you can see that recipe there, it mentions that the total time for this is one hour and 25 minutes. And I most definitely am not going to kill you guys captive for an hour and 25 minutes. Um, but also I'm going to make this recipe take even longer because I'm going to make my own ice cream to go into the cookies because I want to show off the ice cream maker as well. Um, so for this recipe for ice cream, vanilla ice cream is the easiest thing that you can ever make. So I need two cups of heavy whipping cream which is exactly how much is in this container. And I am putting this in my classic batter bowl. If you're not familiar with this one, it is like a giant measuring cup. Um, it has increments of measure along the side, so I could have double checked myself that way too to make sure that I had two cups. Um, then I've got one cup of whole milk, half of a cup of sugar, and then the recipe calls for one teaspoon of vanilla. Now I've got Pampered Chef's Double Strength um, Madagascar Bourbon Vanilla. Um, so I could use half a teaspoon if I wanted to, full teaspoon. I'm gonna stick with a full teaspoon because I like my ice cream sweet and I've never heard of too much vanilla. So then I'm gonna whisk this up for one minute and then I'm going to pop it into the refrigerator for 30 minutes so that these um, ingredients meld together, get nice and cold, and then I will pull out the ice cream maker, okay? Um, so our batter bowl here comes with a lid, so I can pop that lid on and put it in the fridge, and then our batter bowl, this is a classic, it does come in a smaller size too, um, just to give you options, so if you're making cookie dough and then you want to chill in the fridge um, until you're ready to use it, you've got that option. But all right, I'm gonna chill this for 30 minutes and be right back. Okay, you guys, I am back and ready to make the easiest ice cream you have ever made. Um, so this is our Pampered Chef ice cream maker. Um, the lid just screws on and off. Let me, the base is really cold. So I did have the bowl in my freezer overnight. Mine typically lives in my freezer so that it's always um, ready for ice cream, but you do need for it to be very, very cold. Let me get my notches lined up just right. There we go, okay. And so I am just going to power it on. Do, do, do. and then timer for 20 minutes and then I'm going to there we go so once it starts turning I start pouring and this is going to take 20 minutes and I will be right back to show you how that turns out um, but for five points for watching this video just comment and let me know what your favorite ice cream flavor is and then I'll know that you watched it all right, you guys, so the ice cream is done. Um, so I just wanna show you, so this ice cream maker makes like soft serve. I mean, it's been churning the whole time. I'm gonna kinda set the pedal down on one of my cutting mats. Um, so it makes soft serve ice cream. So for this um, recipe, what I need though, is I need more of a scoopable ice cream so that I can put a scoop in between cookies to make a sandwich cookie. So I'm gonna pop this into the freezer um, and then I will get going on the cookies. Okay, party gas. Oh, let me get the, woo! <laughs> so I realized as I look at the recipe that this video is going to be very long and boring if I don't speed things up. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about two things. Um, number one being our stoneware because I'm going to bake our cookies on stones. Um, if you're not familiar with Pampered Chef stoneware, this is not dirty. Um, the browner it looks, the better it cooks. Mine are fairly new, so um, I've seen people with like black stones from how long they've had them. Um, but Pampered Chef is most known for the pizza stone, but these are rectangle stones. And I do have one brand new one as well because I think I'm gonna need two stones um, to make these cookies. Our stoneware has a three year guarantee and I like baking cookies on stones because they're very forgiving. Um, I like my cookies more soft, not necessarily crispy. Um, so, you know, sometimes there's a fine line between how long you cook them, but I feel like when they're on the stones, it gives me a couple extra minutes if I get busy or if I don't get back to them as quickly and I don't end up with the bottoms getting too dark. Um, the other thing I want to show you guys quick is the mixer. Okay, so the deluxe stand mixer um, is a Pampered Chef's newest appliance until that coffee maker comes out, that is. Um, but I want to just show you, so it, why it's unique is because it has presets so you can turn this dial if you want custom of course you can choose what you want um but whip cream mix and you can see the little tool is changing um to let me know what i wanted to do so if i wanted to whip something so I don't have the right tool, I have the paddle on, it's telling me that I would need to switch to the whisk. Um, but if I had the whisk on there and I was all set and I press start, 
It's got a timer, so three minutes and 30 seconds is how long Pampered Chef feels is the perfect whipping. Um, and what this does is it's going to increase speed slowly over time so that you don't have an accident where all of your ingredients come splattering out of the bowl. Now, I don't have anything running in there, um, so I'm not going to keep going with that, but I'm going to post pictures of the boring parts of this recipe, and I'm going to come back again with a video at the fun parts. So this was a process, you guys. I would probably only make cookies this style for like my kid's birthday party or something like that. Um, but I fully assembled one just so that I could practice. But let me show you guys what um, you do here. So I've got all of my cookies. These were in the freezer. Um, you're gonna want them to be cold. And then tip, you want your ice cream to soften um, maybe 10 minutes or so. And I have our um, extra small, our smallest of the scoops. Maybe it's just called the small, whatever our smallest is. And I'm going to do a scoop and a half, you guys, because you really want your ice cream to be pushed out um, edge to edge so that you can roll it in the sprinkle. So I'm going to smush that down. Now, I could have colored the ice cream some fun color or put some mix-ins in it. So if I were making these and I was making them not Star Wars, I would probably do that. So again, you want the ice cream to kind of be squeezing out so that when you roll them in your sprinkles, they get picked up. Now, the cookbook did suggest that you put your sprinkles in the freezer, so I did. I don't know if cold um, sprinkles stick better. I'm not exactly sure. But there you go, guys. There is our super cute uh, little Star Wars blue cookie. So I'm going to do all of these, and then I will post a picture for you guys.